nothing but if. Okay, there we go. Now this thing is still not leaving. Damn it. Okay, now we found a part of the buttons. And this, these. I'm just smiling them to make sure that they're not like warm or smoking, whatever. These are capacitors. These little things here. When I was in a physics one day, I accidentally attached the capacitors in the wrong way. And what ended up happening was I noticed starting getting warm when I held it, so I dropped it. And uh, it turned out we had attached them the wrong way. So, and then uh, it blew up. Like, uh, the end of this went, and, uh, and there was like oil coming out. So, uh, yeah, not safe. Yeah, so there's the motherboard. Um, the way this would work is that basically it's charged through here, and then it's a, then it's used to charge the uh, charge the battery. And the capacitors here, they're they're only useful for storing a short amount of charge, which is important because when I use these phones, there was like a little hole where they would uh, flash light when they were charging and stuff. And when to know they're active, so you'd like flash, the flash, it would be red, constantly red when charging, it'd be flashing blue when active, and these basically uh, store the charge for that because capacitors are good storing charges. And this is where you basically put like a little card, like almost like an SD card, where you, and then you could listen to music on that. This is where the audio jack goes in. This is the microphone, and a bunch of other components here that I'm not really sure what's going on about there. Uh, Anything else I can do that's like, oof. no? Okay. Now I've got to be careful of the battery because that scared me. Though I learned, I won't touch that battery again. Can I open this? Let's see if you can open this, guys. Hmm. How do I open this? That's one way of doing it. There we go. Look. That's the magnetic coil I was talking about. I knew it'd be there. And then... Oh, that looks nice. Okay, so the magnetic coil... We'll sit around the edge of the, uh, that is a strong magnet, look at that. So the, basically this quarter wire would be a, uh, it sits around the mat, this square corner of uh, the c copper car uh, coil. Ow! Stab myself the... Can you see? There's uh, this little sharp uh, wires there. They don't look like much, but they hurt like heck. If you stab with one. Anyway, so that's a. Can I extract these? I can see. Where the. I can see where the end, the end the magnet ends and the copper begins. I want to take it out. No. Hmm. Ah, oh, that's why there's glue. Is this doing anything? Just trying to use it to cut through the glue. This might be actually be doing nothing, I don't know. Right, that went well. And now it's stuck to the magnet. Not that stuck to the hammer. You dear. Is there anything I can do to do this? 
Why oh, am I poking holes in this weird black fabric here? We There you go, fidget spinner. Am I really gonna have to? You know what this thing this thing looks nicer than it is just sitting there, I mean. Okay. Is it trying to say you see that little dent there, right? Okay. Well what happens is the current comes in, is attached to the wire. Well like you know the current's attached to, there's a bit of wire there as you can see attached to the plastic. It comes in. Where's the whole one? It comes in, right here, okay, and it uh, basically travels to this coil in the wire, which then sits, it basically sits around the magnet, like that. And then that, uh, similar to the earphones, it basically induces, um, a, it induces a current to flow. And it uh, basically comes out through these, uh, through these parts here where it's then filtered, and then, uh, you know, passes through the various component, the various filters and stuff in the side, in the front of the headphone. Comes through here, out as a you know transducer. It comes out here through his uh, sound energy. Obviously, you have to be careful that it doesn't just boom. This one is a lot more complex than the uh, than the earphones because this one has Bluetooth and it's got multiple functions like phone, like you know you can call people and stuff. So that's why you have stuff here like capacitors and uh, transistors and you know more. It has a better capability as a as a transducer. No, little thing for SD card here. I don't even want to bother trying removing this because it's puted on. And that stuff is on oh, this heck, like really hard. Well, that has like a little stereo. Oh. Just that there. Anyway. This. This is what I'm curious about. Maybe I'll look into this another day. I don't know. I should wrap that up. Don't want to get electrocuted. But yeah, so. Bit messy, guys. Basically, that's what we have for this. So, we found the. Basically, found the magnets. Um, the reason why these headphones stopped working was because one of these had fallen loose. One of these had fallen loose and was no longer attaching to its correct place. So, it was a. No, it's just no longer functioning properly, and that just meant you know you could only hear. Th oh, this year I could only hear through one ear, and then after that, not even that. So simply, but this this is important. It, it, without this, you cannot hear anything in earphones. So we found that we found a difference between the earphones and the headphones. You know, through Bluetooth and all this stuff and connected stuff. You know, and. That's it, as far as I can say. I mean, maybe we'll work with this in future. I don't know. I don't know which side is which, though. This is interesting. Let me let me show you what I can see. Okay. Is that dark? Is that dark enough? Okay, let's hope it's dark enough. Okay. Ah, it's wrong way around, sorry. Let me No sparks before. Oh, no spark, no more sparks. Um, where are the sparks? Where are the sparks? Give me a second, guys. Hold on.
Ja. Nu är spaks. Point is, basically I saw sparks coming out on this side. That's why I came to contact with this side here. Yeah. Yes, maybe I'll look at this another day. Yeah, so if this video, please do give a like. Please share my videos, please do comment and think of them, and you think I want to take apart. Please do subscribe to my channel so you can keep, so you can see more of the stuff, and please read my mouse so you can upload my Taking Stuff Apart series. Next episode, I don't know what I can take apart. I'm gonna go around my house, see if there's anything no one needs. And hopefully there will be something I'll be able to take apart, mate. Uh, I have no clue there will be, no guarantees, but I'll find something at some point. Don't worry. Yeah. See you next video, comrades. Until then.